Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Star Trek Infinite, episode 13 of my Federation Let's Play. Last episode I messed around with the ship designer some, and I'm going to mess around with it again. Somebody pointed out in the comments that the Miranda ship that we have here, it doesn't have a weapon in the medium slot, which is like its major weapon. It has hull damage, hull damage, hull damage, no shield damage. So let's just put like a phaser right here. Now, that means we don't have enough power, but... We come here, we can put in the, I think it's the reactor sub-battery, which adds power. That gives us enough power. That's a much better <laughs> ship than what we had before. It does a lot more damage, so let's save that design. Um, overrate the current design, yes. That's just a strictly better design. I know it's more expensive, but it's better in every way, so I don't know why we wouldn't do it. Um, do we even have any of those <laughs> intrepids anywhere? I gotta combine some of these minor um, fleets, these small little fleets that I have. All right, so this one here, it's four thirty-five. It's in Kataria, so let's um, bring in its Katarian ships, obviously. So let's combine. Let's bring this one to Kataria as well, and see if we can't combine those. I just want to try to combine some of these, right? That one's Katarian, so let's put that one to Kataria as well. Um, this one, also Katarian. Let's bring that one back to Kataria. This one is... Okay, so this is some Intrepid, so we can probably upgrade this one. Cost me 22 alloys. That's minor. We got Ayarian here. Ayarian there. Let's bring them home to Ayaria. See if we can combine some of these. Now our fleet limit is 35, so I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to combine. But I would like to try to combine some at least right just this is just too many fleets it's too many fleets to, <laughs> to deal with right now well mostly because they're not even that strong right and then we got some beta z fleets um hathron which is beta z all right so the beta z ones are here there's several beta z ones in the mara let's move them here here here, let's see if we can combine some of those. This one is Intrepid class. That one's Katarian. All right, so most of my fleets are on the move. Hopefully we can get some combinations going. And uh, the other thing I need to do, or I should probably do, is, um, so this fifth fleet, let's give it a, I have admirals that I'm not using. I should probably assign my admirals. <laughs> Will probably be good as well, right? All right, so we got a lot going on here. So these fleets are all moving out. Starfleet vessels improved. So I don't think I, I can't combine them all into one. No, we can't merge. Um, but we got a 14 and a 16. So let's move over by the space station again. These two, I think, can be merged, though, or should be able to be merged. Yes, all right, well, there's one. That's one less one less fleet to, to manage, right? So you can also go chill at the station. Okay. All right, so what else? What do we do? We got a missing in action. The Cerritos is missing in action. So the Cerritos was where? Over here. So we got a new first contact. I already have a first contact that I haven't done yet. Um, let's take the unity. Can't move for eight turns, but like I said, I already have at least one first contact. Um, this kind of mercenary. All right, so a bunch, they're still mostly in FTL, so we can't combine anymore just yet. Um, let's take a look at my civilian ships, see how they're doing. Construction ship, not doing anything. My construction ships can't really do much right now because I don't have enough, uh, What's I'm gonna call it? You know what? I don't need three construction ships. I'm gonna disband this one. Or I don't need four, sorry. Three is good. Four's I mean I don't even really need three. But let's keep surveying. Alright, so I got almost enough influence to do uh one um to take one system over. So what would be the best what would be the best system for me to take? Do research down here in Volterana, maybe. 
and we don't have enough influence for that. So yeah. Also, um, a lot of housekeeping here, so I apologize for that. I'm over my scientist cap. I have a scientist who's not doing anything. Um, they're just they don't have any real special abilities other than less leader upkeep. I'm gonna get rid of them so I'm not over the cap anymore. I'm already over cap for admirals. Um, I also have an available governor because what happened is whenever my leader I had a new leader get elected, basically my previous leader was a scientist, so they came back into the scientist pool, putting me over the cap, and I lost a governor, so I was under cap. Oh, this cost influence. <laughs> um, Re-educate Pop's mission. Uh, cost and time to construct buildings and districts will decrease. What am going to do with the cost? Because I just, I don't want to spend influence. Influence is so precious right now. You got one soul, one in Andor. So let's send this other one to where? I mean, I'm pretty good. Like my my income is solid. Um, Vulcan, I guess. Sending the Vulcan to work there. Improving my worker output. Probably be good. Give me extra minerals. All right, establish embassy. Oh, it was automatically auto declined. That's not good. Yeah, I have too much going on. Right. <laughs> All right, so governorship, Balkan. No, I don't want to enter orbit. Why do I not have, why? Okay, hold on. Why is enter orbit my only option? Why do I not have the option to improve? That is the planet, right? That is weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. If I'm being honest. And I'm not sure why I would lie. Um, Cardassian Union declared war on the Romulans. Okay. They made first contact. Migration treaty proposal. Sure. Oh, that's not with me. <laughs> Can't really accept that then. Um, so, what do we need to do here? Most of these are still in transit. Yeah, yeah. They're still moving. Yeah, I'm not sure why my governor can't do anything. We have surveyed a new star system. Improved worker production. We have surveyed why can my new, new governor system. not do that? All right, first contact. Make a show of hospitality. Send my a new star envoy that's free. Science ships are available. Looks like we got a uh, new friend down there, potentially, or enemy. Could be an enemy. How big is this planet? 19. It's big, but it's not that big. All right, so I are. Uh... All right, so how many of these fleets can we combine here? Oh, combine something there. All right, so fleet manager. How does a fleet manager work? Does it let me combine stuff so we can do new fleets? All right, so let's look at this in IR. We got communications established with the Pelian Republic. We are pleased to meet you. All right, science is done. Warp cooldown. We can move around faster. Ooh, research speed. Yeah, let's do research speed. Well, rapid fire point defense is nice. Basically, it helps against ballistics, right? Um, but yeah, research speed is kind of what I want out of this tree. One more year for terraforming, <laughs> which will be nice. All right, what do we got here? We cast a spell against the Pelians. Speaking of, am I close to being able to we won't integrate, propose integration? All right, let's, yeah, let's propose integration there. All right, so this one's at 24. This one's at 2, so let's move them out and try to combine them, which shouldn't be an issue. What have we got here? Integration process started. Nice. All right, so we can combine them. So that one's at 26. 
This one's at 20, so... Can I separate some off? How do I separate this fleet into multiple fleets? Transfer ships. All right, so transfer ships. Um, so there's, there's what? There are two apiece. So we want to transfer four of them away. All right, so they they're their own fleet. They can go out here. Should be able to join up with this one now. Merge them into one. Yes. Okay. This one's a, these two should be able to merge now, right? All right, so <laughs> that was a success. All right, so let's go to Kataria and do the same thing, right? We, we're basically combining four fleets into two fleets. All right, and yeah, I have more minerals than I need, so let's, uh, let's sell some and merge them. Okay, and then one of these other ones. Transfer four out, two, three, four. All right, and then they can go over there. Surveyed a new star system. Perfect. Should have done this sooner, <laughs> honestly. But that's fine. All right, so they can go hang out by the space station. Five mission success in the AMLF system. Perfect. So that means they're they're more they like my um they like what I bring to the table. All right, highway no, let's see exactly where that is. How did I even get my oh I remember, yeah, my science ship took the highway note out there. And come this way, I guess. Did the Cerritos come back yet? It did. Let's um heal it up. Alright, so we got fleets in Namara here. See if we can combine any of these fleets. No, because they're different types. These are Beta Z. And this one's a mercenary fleet, which I assume I assume this won't combine with one of the Beta Z fleets, but maybe it will. Only one way to find out. Oh no, it will. Okay. Alright, so there's another. We have surveyed a new star system. One combined. Okay, so I <laughs> We have a lot less fleets to deal with now, which is good. All right, engineering research. Ooh, yeah, let's unlock the California. I passed this one up a few times. I feel like it's probably time to grab it, right? Or it's definitely time to grab it. Okay, repairs completed there. Oh, they went, they made peace already. Didn't they just go to war? Like that was a very fast war. All right, highway node. We know it goes that way. Yeah, we might as well clear out these last systems in this little pocket. Um, do I have any? No, 52 days before that my envoy can move. Improving relations, improving relations, improving relations. Although, we don't need to improve relations anymore because I'm... No, but I need to, uh, I need to start integration. Right? Diplomacy. Share our secrets. Start integration process. Yes, there we go. All right, so integration has started. It's going to take a while. It always does. That's fine. All right, so let's quickly scroll through my planets. Just check available jobs. Ooh, only one available job here. Um, What do we want? What do we need? Let's get my alloys production up. Let's do an industrial district. Doria's an energy world has three available jobs. Ooh, there's zero available jobs in Vulcan. Uh, let's get a mining district. And let's upgrade to a world capital. Tell our prime. Only one job available. Um, let's go agriculture district. That's kind of what they do there. Well, 359 only has one available job. Um, what am I doing here? Forge world, I guess, probably. We need housing. Let's just get another city district for now. It is that has only got all these places have no jobs. I have not been checking this in quite some time, clearly. Um, well, I mean, we can just upgrade. I think this offers more jobs, right? Yes. So that'll offer way more jobs. <laughs> this one, too. They all need more jobs. All right, so this one's clearly going to be an energy world. 
Zelda, what are we doing here? We got unemployment. <laughs> um, uh, let's go industrial district and a forge. Construction in progress. Okay, that'll help. Two available jobs there is good. Zero here. Man, I've been slacking on jobs and job creation. You think I worked in real world government? I've been slacking so much. All districts have extra housing. All right, let's go with mining district. This is an energy world. Nine available jobs. Only one available job on Ryza. Uh, there's a bit of crime. Ah, eh, 3% is fine. Breeze Prime. Uh, I'm not sure. This is probably going to be a forge world. Yeah, there's three available jobs there. Five available jobs there. Four available jobs here. All right. So the rest of them are good. And they should should all be good for a while. Right? All right. Science is done. Terraforming. All right. So how expensive is terraforming? Because it's ex it's really expensive in Stellaris. So habitability up. It's just straight up commodities park. Um, that just upgrades the commodity zone. Black Ops site. Yeah, it's playing at stability. My stability is pretty good, though. Let's get the extra habitability. I think it's probably the play. So, all right. So what's the best planet we could um, terraform? Let's find a nice big one. Size 21 here. What do we got for features? Um... Doesn't really look like anything special that we can see at least. Also oh, not that one. Um, size 20 class D planet. As features. We got for features. Um, yeah, it's just extra districts. Probably not that one. Size 23. As a feature. Miners produce energy. Ooh, I like the looks of that. So to terraform this to a class M takes 2,000 energy, which isn't actually that much. And it takes 1,800 days, which is like, what, six years? So we're going to start the process, but that's that's going to take a while. Um, we got a class M planet here. I should probably colonize this one. Uh, let's just send humans. Let's just send humans. Yet another colony. I don't know if I really need another colony. All right, Romulus supernova. All right, so the Romulus sun finally went supernova. Within a few seconds, an all-encompassing burst of light rushed through our galaxy, annihilating everything on its path. The Romulus sun has exploded, killing millions of people. However, the ambassador Spock of Vulcan was able to halt the expansion of the supernova by using a red matter to create a black hole that absorbs the catastrophes, remaining explosive energy. Though the rest of the galaxy has been spared, the destruction we've witnessed today might take centuries to remedy. It's a dark day. I did not expect that to happen when I clicked on that. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of glad I did that. I mean, it's not cool for the Romulans, <laughs> but it's cool for me. We're pleased to meet you. All right. We got new Cassie's belly. First contact aborted because they made contact with us instead. So um, I have a first contact somewhere. Available. Nice. Got some science ships not doing anything. Oh, I got a spy ship not doing anything. I should probably do something about that. And that spy ship's been not doing anything for a while. How do they think about it? <laughs> so, let's do propaganda again. All right, so let's see if we can get this governorship to do something. I don't, I don't know why he can't do that mission. Like, why is it? All right, so let's go somewhere else and try then. Um, go to Drago. Let's see if we can do a mission on Drago since we can't seem to on Vulcan for whatever reason. Is there even any systems out here? Doesn't look like it. What happens if you go in here? Oh, pop growth speed and sensor range down, but there's no systems in there that I can see. That's kind of weird. 
All right, keep surveying. All right, Governor Ship and Drago. Oh, non-federation vessel. All right, Drago Prime. We can do the missions here. Why can't I do the missions on Vulcan? If anybody knows why that is, can you let me know in the comments? All right. Where are the fleets at? Madeira, 1.8k in strength. So this is just an Oskins being annoying again. So they got 1.8k in strength. I got way more than that, but it's spread all over the place. Let's move them all over. Kind of right in the middle, so we should be able to get here relatively quick. The problem is I want the Enterprise to get here so it can get into combat, and I don't think it's going to. Well, it might. It might. All right, and the Cerritos is not doing anything. This doesn't look like... This wasn't fully surveyed. This system. I wonder if there's something good here. Oh, what's going on here? I have a sign shipment over. Oh, okay. Well, I will have to do that with the Cerritos since it's right there. All right. And let's bring this into my empire. Get two more research. What do we got here? Research clan, research agreement proposal. That's not with me. <laughs> Leader gained a level, system surveyed. All right, perfect. I don't have any unemployment right now. All right, so they're attacking. They were attacking my outpost Surveying instead. All right, the interstellar pirates have struck again. Kind of. Their appears attack has cost us valuable resources. They came out of nowhere, hit us, then vanished, leaving only the following remote transmission playing on an if loop. Join us or die. Most oh, so we lose a thousand of everything. Is the Enterprise in here? Oh, the Enterprise is in there. I think, I think everybody's there now. Scientist gained a trait. Scientist Carrick uh, gained the addicted trait. <laughs> she loses 20, 20 years off her lifespan. Great. That's great news. All right. So we won. Took a while, but we won. So we finished. Oh, look. Tetrion. Or... Yeah, Tetrion. Tetrion's right. All right, so we can come down here and do that research project. Did the Enterprise, did that actually count as a combat for the Enterprise? It did. Still need to figure out how to do diplomatic missions. I'm not sure. Maybe I just need to have open borders with somebody first. All right, so everybody needs to be repaired here, pretty much. I think they're all just going to go yeah, to the nearest starbase. You don't. You didn't need repairs. They just needed upgrades. Everybody else took damage pretty much. Just about everybody except these three. They probably they were probably the last ones to get there. All right. First contact event. Relations established with the Nosikins. Oh, they're, they're the ones who keep attacking me. Oh wait. So there's we have surveyed a new there's Nosikin skull crashers, skull crushers, and there's Nosikin destroyers. Oh. So I got Noskins on two sides of me now. That's great news. Just kidding. No, it's not. Um, logistic warp range. Multi Let's go multi-phasic shields. Shields? That seems good. Ooh, medical clinics. Oh, holodeck. Um, no, yeah, let's go medical clinics. That would have been a good one to have locked a long time ago because it helps pop grow speed. And we got a timed project. We will do that with the Cerritos, I think. And you can go to the research station there. And we did lose this one. The stupid Nothkin buttheads. <laughs> they got a lot there, though, right? I don't have nearly enough. Well, I got lots of officers now, so I could probably start building more ships. Right. So let's go one of each of the three things we can make. And we'll have the California soon. But I think the California um, is like the Cerritos. I think it's the Cerritos is a California class ship. Yeah. And I don't think they can, like, 
be in a fleet because they're technically also a science ship. I think. I'm not positive. All right, so terminal, terminal. Investigating the ruins on Area Prime has led to the discovery of an abandoned computer terminal covered in dust and fallout. Its serial number indicates it to be a model that was in production on Earth during the 1950s. Oh, wow, that's old. Despite its old age, our settlers managed to power up the terminal, decrypting its data with ease. After a series of vibrations and alarms, we discovered the terminal had granted us access to a nearby room. Entering what appeared to be a worn-out vault, we uncovered a long row of stasis pods, alien apparatus, and a series of logs recorded by Dr. Anra, dated February 20th to 27th, 1955. One log entry entitled uh, Emergency Detonation System revealed our colony was constructed on top an extensive cluster of antique bombs. Awesome. So we lose planet stability, but we gain science. Ooh, ship upkeep down. We have surveyed yeah, ship upkeep down sounds good. All right, so a bunch of my ships. Construction finished on schedule. Um, all right, so yeah, so let's look at the California ship here. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, the California ship's not even in the ship designer. So yeah, it's basically like the Cerritos. So we're probably not going to use any California ships. If you could get them early, they'd be nice to like explore with, obviously. But at this point, kind of late, kind of too late for that, I feel. All right, so survey system there. Survey these systems here. All right, should I start another terraforming project? We got a ooh, size 17 class M plant. We should probably, ooh, it's a Gaia world, which just straight up gives extra resources. And you can have Tetrion wells, two Tetrion wells. I don't think I have enough food. I do not have enough food. Let's buy some food. Um. So who do we want to send out here? Send Klingons. Katarians, what do I Arians do? Pop food up, keep down. Pop amenities usage down. Sepians, get extra trade value. And... No extra plan stability. Alcorians, unity from jobs, research from jobs. Pelmians, resources from jobs. Spread from pops. Let's go. Let's go with a Pelion. Founder species only. So human or human. <laughs> and they have the same traits. So I'm not sure why there's two different humans, because they're the same. They have the same traits. Um, but yeah, I'm okay with some Lysapiens. What do the Vulcans give? Research from jobs. Oh, and leader lifespan way up. Hellions, I want to What's their negative? Ooh, pop housing and pop amenities usage up, down. But less spread and more resources. Yeah, let's go Pelions. Can I terraform a planet that's not... No. We can only terraform planets that are within our borders. Which doesn't really surprise me. Ooh, there's, there's a size 22 class M planet down here. Man, I've been slacking. Clerks produce food. Research, oh my god. Why have I not colonized this yet? I don't have the food to colonize. I mean, I could buy more food, I guess, again. Heard on the old money buying all this food. <laughs> Alright, so this one. No, that's not the one we wanted. This one, Class M, with researchers produce extra research. So this is going to be a research world. So if we're going to colonize it, we probably want it to be like Katarians, right? Because they get a bonus to research, right? Research from jobs and less uh, pop amenities usage. So let's go with that. Okay, so that's, yeah. How's my spread? Ooh, I'm getting close to max spread. I'm going to need another administration office here soon. Let's put that on Earth. Yeah, that gives me extra administration capacity. That should be good. Could probably do that on a few planets, honestly. Construction in progress. Yeah, let's do one there too. Create my research laboratory. Cost Tetrions, sure. Construction in progress. All right, beautiful. Um, so these fleets, it says they can be upgraded, but they can't actually be upgraded. 
I don't know what reinforced fleet means, honestly. Research model. What we got going here? Migration treaty. That is not with me. Research completed. Medical clinics. Um, commodities park. Ooh, what's this? Leaders provide stability. Governor level leader cap is up. Spy level stuff. Early commodities park. Or, ooh, army stuff. Let's go with the army stuff. I kind of like that. Um, I thought I was working on that. Wasn't I? Wasn't the Cerritos? Yeah, it's work. It's on its way. It's on, oh my god, look at this planet. Or this system. Oh, I know where. I know where I'm sending my construction ships. Don't I have one out this way somewhere? Yes. Although, can we get out here? It's out of logistic warp range. I cannot get out there. At the moment. All right, then. Ooh, have I not surveyed this system? Apparently not. Whoops. Terraforming. Terraforming is at the bottom of the planner, for anybody who was curious. Stupid Noskins. All right, well, let's see if we can get this system back. I mean, I can, it's just gonna take some time. 2.7 influence. Um, the Klingons have guaranteed the independence of the Mac Akamarians. Technology, technology research, ship upkeep down, which is always good. Solar panel array. That's a starbase module. All right, so we met the Kalons. You're pleased to meet you. All right, so the solar planet array is a starbase building that produces energy. Oh, I want that. I don't have any of the starbase buildings that produce resources yet, right? So that'll be good. We have a Casabelli with the Kalons. We got here. So this is this is my new fleet that I just started. So this is going to be a big fleet. So we're going to put Cisco in charge of that. And then we're going to some more ships. So I have lots of officers now. All right, and I got. Hanley is missing in action. That's probably out where? Up here? No, there. Not sure where that would have been. Doesn't show me. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to want to try to take out the Noskids soon. Can I even talk to them? Can. So I can Ooh, I can t ask them to harass. I can hire their leaders. I can hire their forces. Bully. Oh, I can only bully. I can't get them to bully like the Klingons. Hire leaders. Hire forces. That's ground armies. That is a lot of... Um, it's a lot of energy. That's pricey. That is very pricey. Um, do I want to get more? Ooh, size 24. More terraforming on the go. Sure. Sure, why not? Beautiful. Debris report ready. All right, Cerritos is done. All right, so... Wasn't there a system somewhere here that I didn't? Right here. Research model. Spy mission failed. Uh oh, what's going on? Why is it? <laughs> why is it like that? Okay, there we go. All right, so logistic warp range, phaser spinal lance, for starbase. Ooh, starbase building, singularity observatory. Produces research and gravitons. Ooh, I need more tetrions. And here, ooh, medical complexes. Just straight up improves the building that we just got. Um, tile blockers, though? Let's do tile blockers. All right. And you know what? I do believe that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Can, you, can I see it being terraformed?
This is the wrong system. Anyway, <laughs> be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.